Um, hi, Mikey. This is, I don't know if that's how you say your name or not. I'm so sorry. That's a trouble sometimes with online teaching, but whatever it is, <laughs> could be Miki. I don't know. Anyway, this is Suki Woodward looking at your milestone two, your contact sheet here. Thank you for labeling it uh, with the ISO, which is pretty high for dark. Uh, I guess it was night. Sometimes I think maybe for daylight. Looks like you brought it back. That's good. Should be 200 for daylight. Uh, beautiful. Gosh, this colonial mansion, McMansion, with the light and the columns. It's gorgeous. Um, and you tried this first one over here. Is it a 5.6? This was a 7.1. So it looks like you varied your apertures. Here's a 9, which is really great. Just kind of practicing that whole skill, right? Uh, pretty front porch. Wow, how wonderful. When you got close, you did some from the side like that. So then let's see these ones at night. This one's quite beautiful with that silver leaf right there. Oh my goodness, these are wonderful. Um, the trouble is, that, you know, I know in task one I read what this was, but then of course by the time I get to task two, I can't always see what's going on so I would really appreciate if you just add a few words in task two when you post them. So here's that wonderful um, balcony and they have that decoration on it. How amazing. Let's see if we can get back a tiny bit also. Oh and the reflection in the door. Wow that's gorgeous. Um, I don't see, oh yeah I do. This one was shot at uh, 125th at an F9, which is looks good. It's about nine feet away, I think, probably. Um, and this one is beautiful. It's sort of light, but it's sort of dark. It's kind of maybe sun setting, maybe. But I like the angle with that light coming out. It's beautiful. This one as well. I think also it might be, there's some light on the tree, so it might have been coming from, well, it might be, they might light the tree. I don't know. It looks like they have lights there. I see. So anyway, beautiful job here. A lot of different ideas. This one looks like it's more like early or midday with the shadows there, which I like. Uh, and this is one of my favorites with that. I don't know if you did a flash or not, but it sure looks beautiful with that silvery um, framing bush uh, with the leaves and then the lighted lights. Really pretty Christmas lights. Gorgeous. These are really nice. Thank you so much for doing these. These are wonderful. Um, and I, I can't think of anything to say to revise. You know, I think that this one, like it's in a 5.6, you know, you might have tried it at an F16 just to be sure you got all the details as you went back. But um, I think you'll learn about aperture as you go along. This one is not so far away, so it's not so vital. This one is at a 5.6 also. And if you wanted that porch back there and the roof, see how that's slightly blurry to be sharper? Um, a, 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 you know, a narrow, narrow aperture like an F16, F22 will give you a sharper image all the way back. So that's just something to practice. All right. Thank you so much. Wonderful job.